Hello, I'm Sam Crow. I've, I've been preparing for a workshop this week and I've just been playing with some um, 12 by 12 papers and a gel plate. And I just wanted to share a, a quick and easy card with you. So this is a paper I've had for a while uh, from a 12 by 12 scrapbook. I like to leave these on, I think they add a little bit of interest. I've got the um, the gel plate triangle I'm going to use and I'm going to use it with green archival ink. I'm just going to put the ink on there and stamp on the bit of 12 by 12 card. There you go, that's what you get. So then I'm going to come back in with a black archival and I'm going to just touch the edges of the gel plate with it like that just gently touch the edge I'm going to go back over the same stamped image and if you don't get exactly right it doesn't matter it just adds a bit more interest there you go and I'm actually going to do that again because I think it looks nice um, with a slight double line so you just kiss in the side of the gel plate with your ink pad I'm using archivals, archivals don't seem to do any damage at all to these ink pads to the gel plates, sorry there you go, so I've got a nice edge there now so put that aside so I'm going to get a gold script pen any gold pen would do the job I'm just going to go around the circles. It doesn't stand out a lot, but it just adds a little bit of shadow into it. So it looks a little bit more embedded. In fact, the pen was working a lot better than this earlier, but it's maybe the light. But I'm not worried. It does add just that little bit more dimension. Can you see it? So then I'm going to get, um, I've got a Derwent charcoal tint pencil. I'm just going to go around the edges. I'm going to add on to what's already black. So just go along the line there like that. I'm going to leave that little bit where there's a gap there because it just, like I say, it adds more interest. Come along the bottom. You can use the stub if you like, but I always just use my finger. Just give it a little swirl around, around e and each side. And if you go a bit onto the card and a bit onto the stamped image, it uh, gives, it makes it look more embedded. And you can go a bit more if you want, if you think it needs more light, dark, whatever. Just give it a little bit of a rub. Right, can you see there where I've come on over the ink? It looks much more embedded than where I haven't. I'm going to do a little bit more of that there. Just bring it in with me, my finger. And again here. A bit on my finger, yeah. This is definitely working, and again, just a little rub, doesn't take long. Nice black fingers, <laughs> there you go. So, there's the top of my Christmas tree. So, then I'm just going to bring that down. I'm going to make up a little stalk or stem for the tree, and I'm going to get my gold pen colour it in a bit. I'm using a different one this time. Just come down the strokes like that, it's a bit too grassy for me, so I'll bring the gold one back in. There, yeah, that's better. Gold can be a bit funny really, it's got to be the right shade or it just doesn't work. So there, that's the bottom of the tree. I'm going to charcoal in again because I want to go over the gold, over the top. And just do a rough edge at the bottom like that. There you go. So I'm going to come across down like that. A little bit more shading at the bottom here. There you go. I'm starting to get it now. A bit more shading. This is just your typical kind of journal style shading, this really. I like the journal style shading because you can... You can kind of say, look, at this is this is me, I'm shading, I'm embedding it and without, you know, feeling it has to be perfect. It's okay to just, you know, to do it. 
and, and to make it loud and proud. That's what I'm trying to say. So there you go. So that's just one gel print, a little bit of charcoal and gold pen. And then to finish off, I get me Clarity Stamp Merry Christmas, which I use a lot. You can see it here. It looks beautiful on all different surfaces. And the more you mess with it, the nicer it looks. But for this, I'm going to just, I'm going to stick to the green. I do use um, blocks sometimes, but sometimes um, I struggle um, to get a lot of pressure on blocks. So um, I use my fingers instead. So I've got, I've got the green on there. I just want to add touches of black. So I'm just touching the, the black ink pad and make sure it's not upside down. Sorry about the camera angle. I've just, this has just been a last minute. Let's make a, a, a demo tip kind of thing. So I've just done an arm sweep on my desk. So I had some room to work. I just thought I'd get on with it. There you go. So there's my little Merry Christmas. Could make it black if you wanted, add a bit more black ink. And if I wanted, I could even go back over it now. If I wanted it darker. Just add a little. And sometimes if you just add little touches here and there, sometimes you ruin it when you go back over it, which I think I have here. But that's okay. I'll deal with that. I'll just make a little label maybe. Or just colour it in. Doesn't look too bad, does it? So there you go. There's a full picture. So, and then just mount that. Mount it onto red. Or mount it onto black. Whatever takes your fancy. Or stick it in your journal book. And there you go. A really quick and easy Christmas card. Thank you for watching. Bye.